Chapter nine, we're gonna start off with review, how to predict products of different types of reactions and how to balance the equation. So our first example, which corresponds with the worksheet handed out in class, is sodium nitrate. Sodium is plus one, nitrate is NO3 minus one, plus one and minus one cancel. Reacts with means plus, lead two oxide. Lead two is PB plus two, oxide is O minus two, and they cancel. So this type of reaction is called a double replacement reaction. And so when we predict our products, the outside, this one and this one, are gonna get together first. So we'll have sodium, which is plus one, and oxide, which is minus two, switch, and then the insides are going to get together, and that's going to be lead and nitrate. So we'll get lead, which is plus 2, and nitrate, which is NO3 minus 1. Switch them, and here's our final equation. Now we're going to balance the equation, and we want to make sure we have an equal number of each element on each side. So I have one sodium on the left, one nitrogen, one lead, and three plus one makes four oxygens. On the right, we have two sodiums, two nitrogens, one lead, and a total of seven oxygens. And so I wanna fix my sodiums first by placing a two here. That gives me two sodiums, two nitrogens, and two down three is six, seven oxygens, sorry. Did not change my lead, however. Still have one lead. And interestingly enough, after we change that one thing, my sodium, nitrogen, lead, and oxygen all match the ones on the right-hand side. So I have a mole to mole ratio in this equation of two to one to one to one. There's a two to one to one to one mole to mole ratio across this equation. The next example, C2H4O2 plus oxygen yields, and this is a combustion reaction, which always yield the same two products, CO2 and H2O. To balance the equation, we should end up with a coefficient of two, two, and two. So it has a one to two to two to two ratio. Here's our next reaction. And this one, you have to actually look online to see what the products are gonna be. You have two options. There's SO2 and we could also have SO3. And so we'll balance these. This will end up having an eight, which gives this one an eight as well. The bottom one, We'll end up having an eight here, giving me 24 oxygens, so then I'll need a 12 in front of oxygen to balance it. Also, these are a synthesis reaction. Okay, iron metal reacts with silver nitrate, so iron plus silver nitrate. And that's gonna give me silver plus, and I'll have two different products iron 2 nitrate, or I might have iron 3 nitrate. This one is a single replacement. Okay, magnesium chlorate decomposes. When a metal chlorate decomposes, we get a metal chloride, plus two minus one cancel. I'm sorry, plus two minus one switch. And then we'll also get oxygen gas, O2. And it's a decomposition. When we balance this equation, we have one magnesium on both sides, two chlorines on both sides. We have six oxygens on the left. So three times two makes six oxygens on the right. This has a one to one to three ratio. One one, three. Calcium and bromine. Bromine is a diatomic. This is gonna be a synthesis reaction. 
which is going to give me calcium bromide plus two minus one switch and this is already balanced and so it has a one to one to one ratio one to one to one which is h plus one and sulfate so4 minus two we switch the charges giving us h2so4 plus sodium hydroxide which is na plus one and oh minus one plus one and minus one cancel this is a double replacement reaction which means we're going to put the outsides together, which will be the hydrogen and the hydroxide. Plus one and minus one will cancel. And we're going to put the insides together. Sodium, which is plus one, with sulfate, SO4 minus two, and they switch. Now we want to balance the equation. And in this case, we'll do a chart, one sodium on the left, one sulfur on the left. There's a total of three hydrogens on the left and a total of five oxygens on the left. On the right-hand side, we have two sodiums, one sulfur, two hydrogens, and five oxygens. So we'll start with the sodiums. And on the left-hand side, I want to put a two in front of sodium hydroxide, which changes my sodium to two. It also changes my oxygens to six, and it changes my hydrogens to four. Notice that the sulfurs are equal already, so now we can do the hydrogens. Four on the left, two on the right, so if I put a two here, that gives me four hydrogens, but it also changes my oxygen, and now I have six. And so sodium, sulfur, hydrogen, and oxygen are now all balanced with each other. We have a mole to mole ratio of one to two to two to one. C10H22 undergoes combustion. Because it's a combustion reaction, you have to add oxygen on the left side, and then it's gonna always produce the same two products, CO2 and H2O. When we balance this, we have 10 carbons on the left, so we'll put a 10 in front of the carbon on the right. We have 22 hydrogens on the left, so 11 times two makes 22 on the right. This is gonna give us a predicament with our oxygen because we have two on the left, but on the right, we have 20 plus 11, which equals 31. That's an odd number. And the only number that I can multiply times two would be 15.5. So for temporary, I'm gonna go ahead and make that 15.5. And now this is a balanced equation. However, you don't leave this the way it is. We're gonna have to multiply the whole thing times two to get rid of that 0.5 on oxygen. So that's actually gonna give me coefficients of two, 31, 20, and 22. So my molar mole ratio is two to 31 to 20 to 22. Calcium carbonate, plus one minus two cancel. I'm sorry, plus two and minus two cancel. In calcium, when we decompose a metal carbonate, we're gonna get the metal and oxide, plus two, minus two, cancel, and we're gonna get CO2. And in this one, it's already balanced, so it has a one to one to one ratio. This is a decomposition. Barium chloride will decompose. So this is a decomposition and it breaks up into its individual elements, barium and chlorine gas. This is also already balanced with a one to one to one ratio. The last one is chlorine gas plus aluminum iodide plus three minus one switch. Chlorine is a diatomic and this one is a single replacement. Which, and in this one it's special because what's gonna switch are my two non-metals, the chlorine and the iodine. So iodine is gonna be by itself and the chlorine is now gonna be with the aluminum plus the